Okay, so I'm doing a wedding this weekend and I ordered burgundy or red peonies and it's in December and with all specialty flowers like ranunculus, peonies, they can be very, very inconsistent in color, which is a problem when you have a really tight color palette. So I got my peonies in and they're gorgeous, but they look more fuchsia to me. So I use uh, Design Master and this is a fresh floral spray paint and it won't damage your flowers and I want to show you how to use it. So this one has already been sprayed and it very much looks burgundy and acceptable to the color palette that I'm doing. So if you're doing a wedding and we tell you on the website the color can be inconsistent, go ahead and buy this online. It's like five to six dollars and you're just going to lightly mist it. So I come in and I'm just lightly feather painting it out and it doesn't have far to go because it is obviously already in that pink range but it was just too too fuchsia to use in a cranberry Christmas palette so we'll do another one and this can be done on roses ranunculus and it's something that every florist has to do because, again, specialty flowers, inconsistency across the board. And that's not because wholesalers aren't ordering the right things. It means that maybe the pH of the soil was more acidic, which will give it a different color. So it looks really wet right now, but it will dry up really quickly. It's never fun when something doesn't come in the color that you want it to come in. But luckily there's things like this to, as workarounds. And it's best, it's freezing outside, but it's best to do this outside, but we have an open window here because it's very smelly. So don't do it in your house. We're kind of in a warehouse area. So I'll let these simmer and I may spray them again twice, but I feel like I calmed down the fuchsia enough to where when I mix it in with the Freedom Roses and the Amaryllis, it will definitely have the color that I want.